Hello, Financial Future family. Today, we've got some exciting updates about our seniors. They are now eligible to receive up to $3,000 through a new assistance program tailored for those who need it most. Additionally, there are some noteworthy changes for January SNAP recipients. The mayor has signaled approval for extra EBT benefits, and I've got all the details to share with you in just a moment. But before we dive in, make sure you're subscribed to Financial Future and hit that like button to boost us in the YouTube algorithm. Now, let's jump right into the video. Starting off, let's discuss the latest developments in healthcare. Hospitals are reintroducing some mask mandates due to the resurgence of respiratory viruses, particularly the highly contagious COVID-19 variant known as Genone. This comes as there has been a 20% increase in COVID hospitalizations across the country, with flu cases surging up to 172%. Various states, including New York and California, are reimposing mask mandates to curb the spread. Now, shifting our focus to our seniors, a group that often faces financial challenges. Many believe that retirement is a time for enjoyment, but the reality is that maintaining a basic standard of living can be expensive. The average couple in their 60s may need at least $600,000 for medical costs alone. Fortunately, there are senior assistance programs, like the Supplemental Security Income, SSI, offering up to $3,000 to those aged 65 and older. Do you qualify for these programs? Seniors aged 60 and above are eligible for the Senior Assistance Program in 2023. These programs provide support for housing, affordable health care, food, and other necessities. We've identified four key programs, Social Security Retirement Benefits, Supplemental Security Income, Medicare, and Medicaid. Moving on to SNAP benefits, we have some exciting news for our low-income citizens. Instacart and Kroger are teaming up to accept SNAP benefits, making it more accessible for food share recipients to purchase groceries. Additionally, D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser has agreed to provide additional benefits to SNAP recipients, addressing the ongoing challenges of food insecurity. And let's not forget the Summer EBT program, now made permanent in Nevada, offering eligible children up to $120 during the summer months. All right, let's get into the heart of today's topic. It's not clickbait we're talking about your last chance to claim those stimulus checks from 2020 and 2021. Whether you received the wrong amount or haven't received a check at all, don't worry, I've got you covered. Stick around as we also discuss the new tax brackets for 2024, the $600 PayPal, Venmo change, and all things IRS. Now, the IRS provided economic impact payments three times during the pandemic. If you're still missing your stimulus payment from 2020, you have until May 17 of this year to claim it. For 2021, the deadline is April 15. 2025. Most people should have already received their payments, but if you're one of the few facing issues, don't hesitate to claim what's rightfully yours. And by the way, for those using PayPal, Venmo, or Cash App, there's good news. The IRS is making changes to the reporting rules, delaying the implementation of the $600 threshold to $5,000 for this tax year. So, if you've transacted more than $5,000, expect to receive a 1099 k This change aims to reduce taxpayer confusion. It's a win for many. Now, shifting gears a bit, let's talk about the new tax brackets for 2024. With the new year, the IRS is adjusting brackets to handle inflation. This means higher limits and potentially more money in your pocket. I'll break down the details, so stay tuned if you want to know how it affects your take-home pay. Lastly, there are some noteworthy changes in the crypto world. 
the IRS is now requiring anyone receiving over $10,000 in cryptocurrency transactions to report the details within 15 days. This has sparked controversy, with crypto advocates challenging the rule, arguing its difficulty and constitutionality. That's a wrap for today's video, Financial Future Family. I hope you found this information valuable. If you have any questions or want to share your thoughts, drop them in the comments below. As always, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things financial. Until next time, take care and secure that financial future. Bye, guys.